Uh, okay, I've been on top of this tree, scouting this location so everything is nice and safe. Let's do another cooking video. I usually start the fire before I prepare my food. The reason why I do that is because I want to keep tension in this situation. A fire can die out really fast, so I w need to work really fast, really hard. But this time, you know, I'm taking a kind of slow pace, so I'm going to prepare the food first and then start the fire. I have some onion, a mushroom, and lettuce. And you can see the fire has spread to the ground. So the ground is actually burning around my bush stove. And people think like, oh shit, he's gonna start a forest fire. He doesn't know what he's doing. I'll tell you this, if forest fires were started this easy, don't you think the whole world would be burning? That's why starting a fire is a survival skill because it's hard starting a fire. That's just the way it is. Ugh, okay, so dinner is almost done. Oh wait, no, 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 not really. But pretty soon it will be, I guess. Nice. You see it? Yeah, 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 I can feel it. I'm gonna cook it for a few more minutes. 10 hours later. Okay, the food seems to be pretty done or kind of well done. So let's take it off the fire and try it out. And if you're gonna enjoy Swedish haggis, you gotta have Foko mango nectar. Really amazing. Clear flavor, strong flavor, but lean. A lean, strong flavor. You gotta swirl it around because then you get the flavors out. Smells amazing, man. Kinda amazing. Fuck this. <laughs> okay, there was a few pine needles in this. Didn't destroy the dish. Made it kinda more chewy. Tasted good, not great. But I would give it three out of five. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you hated it or I did something wrong. Leave a comment down below. I'm always open to positive criticism. But as always, until the end, reaching the goal. Stay meepy, man. <laughs>